Hello, Collective. Let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. I hope you all are doing well, staying blessed. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in when it's the purest of white light. <laughs> and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. <laughs> Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Lord have mercy. They both came out in the reverse. So there is some type of exposure going on about a queen of pentacles in the reverse. As you know, this is someone that is literally a nightmare to be around. This is someone very greedy, someone very vain, very superficial, poor hygiene. This is this kind of woman, mentally imbalanced, not someone you can talk to calmly. Someone is someone likes wisdom. Wisdom can be painted in like bold colors bold print on a big old board right in front of her she still won't see it still won't understand it physically incompetent she's out here pretending to have some type of what intuition someone is dark someone either does not listen to their intuition if she has any with her showing in the reverse i don't think this woman has an intuition someone is greedy so not only is she showing up as the queen of pentacles reverse, she's showing up as the high priestess reverse. Double the greedy, double under greedy, double under greedy. Someone is very greedy, very deceitful. Someone has been lying um, either to a masculine or to a community about something. Someone has been pretending to be gifted is also what I'm hearing, but she is not gifted. Lord, if this card comes out in the reverse, it came out in the reverse, folks. It came out in the reverse right here. If uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. Uh huh. Okay. So what this is, is that this woman wanted someone. I don't know if she went to like a dark practitioner to do some type of magic. So someone could see her as a choice. They don't see her as a choice. Someone is just lustful. They may have had like a one night stand or something like that, but he's not giving her a love offer. Someone sees this woman as very immature, out of touch with reality, someone overbearing. This is one of those women when you're around, they're into everything you're into throughout the day. May call you 10,000 times to see how you're doing. Say, yeah, I'm doing the same way I was doing five minutes ago. The heck do you want? This is one of those women. Someone is unhinged, okay? Very unpredictable, very weighed down and burdened at night, very worried that a masculine is taking and this is what i'm getting because you know a lot of my reads are intuitive right that someone is headed towards a different energy but can you blame him do you see the energy you're showing up in all of this and then you're doing this girl i cannot this is like overbearing as heck why would you want to be like this Basically, the reality, this is what I'm hearing. The reality someone wanted for you is what they're going through and you're about to be out here or you are out here, not about. Because in creation, there is no past, there is no future, there is just a now. You're out here free as can be, free as a butterfly. This woman may have been doing some type of work behind the scenes to have you trapped in your mind, afraid of everything and everyone around you, near and far afraid of your shadow afraid to be you have you in some type of mental imprisonment possibly causing stagnations and dead ends in your life and things like that wanted people leaving you out in the cold someone went to a far extent within a community to make sure that people believe that she was something that she is not meaning not only was she going to practitioners to get readings on you and someone else she was pretending to be a practitioner so that someone could choose her for either an offer whether this is an offer in love with the fact that it's the knight of cups that means that it definitely had to do with an offer in love she wanted to be seen as someone's love offer this woman is emotionally unavailable so whatever offer she was giving to someone was not even genuine and she's surprised that she's not getting the love offer someone is whoever she's interested in is going somewhere else with their commitment to have a brand new start and he's moving fast he said uh, 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 i understand now i understand now where the heck i need to be so i'm in that direction to what fulfillment long-lasting connections genuine connections that are reciprocated 
someone is losing it behind the scenes i don't know what this is baby but and I, there, there's a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes. This will be one of the women you tell them that you're leaving them or you don't want to talk to them anymore. They're calling you. They want to know where you are. They're making surprise stops at your home, coming by unexpectedly, unannounced, and they're expecting you to let them into the house and things like that. Someone is unhinged. I don't know why I'm getting all of that information, but thank you, Spirit. We are here for the sauce and the tea. He, he, he. Thank you. There's a masculine trying to avoid a woman, okay? They may have even been working behind the scenes, get this, to bring you, the Queen of Cups, some type of legal issues, some type of burden to have you weighed down so this masculine could not come towards you. And she's disappointed because they're going to have to move on because you are going to be A-OK. -okay. You may be receiving an offer from a King of Pentacles that's a bachelor and sees you as someone that he's can commit to this could be a union that is destined by the spirit realm so you two could have some type of contract together uh so maybe he has had some type of dream or epiphany about you someone could be going through some type of growth or healing as well yeah he is going within doing some type of introspection and deciding on how to move forward there's something in here about a king of swords and a king of wands i don't know if this king of swords is like a military person now Whatever this is, you could have a few masculines behind the scenes that are interested in you, collective, divine feminine. So you're going to have options. Like you have options in love. I just heard someone say, I have options. So you're not limited. Girl, go on with your bad self. Look at you. Go on with your bad self. Go on with your bad self. Defeating your enemies out here and staying pure, pure hearted. Go on with your bad self. Okay, now. This Queen of Cups out here, I want to get clarity on her. There could be a Queen of Cups behind the scenes going through a tower. What I'm also hearing is that there could be a masculine behind the scenes that has, has had some type of uh, situation going on with a few women or something like that. Uh, I thought I saw a car flip over. Excuse me. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss a beat for, any, for all of you because now I am interested in this story. Y'all know my pettiness. Oh. Yeah, there's a queen of cups going through an ending behind the scenes, going through a tower as well. I am going to put that out. Okay, um, so someone, I don't know if someone just came out of prison. Someone's getting out of some type of my, uh, confusing mindset. Like you don't got to be confused anymore. Like she knows for sure that someone is putting an end to some type of situation with her and it's causing her a tower because whoever is leaving her was her bag. You know how those young folks out here say that they're securing the bag. Uh, that was her bag and her bag is leaving. Oh, oh, bless her heart. Bless her heart. Her bag is leaving and he ain't coming back. He said, back up, Jizzy Bell. <laughs> I want to go get married now. I want to be in the upright. I'm taking charge of my life and balancing things out. I'm going within. I'm going to become wise. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to invest in myself so I can have the future I desire. There's a whole family fighting behind the scenes. You know why? Because there was a whole family, like a cult-like mentality or something like that, that was orchestrating these women behind the scenes to come into this masculine energy and pretend to be something they weren't. Okay? This woman has been interfering with some type of offer that was supposed to be given to someone else, was intended for someone else, but she has been interfering. She has been, there's a queen of cups behind the scenes as well, and she ain't no good. They did all of this worth of money, trying to steal someone's resources, someone's money, someone's stability, and they're all burdened behind the scenes because they weren't able to shake you. You're still out here, hopefully, as can be, and have your freaking ace of pentacles being protected by the universe, and it's coming in, and you will be in a union in divine timing. You spoke your truth, and it's leading to some type of commitment coming to you. Got your sword pulled out at these people. You're like, I wish a mother ever would try me. I can be up love and lights but when i'm done with you you'll be in this energy baby these people are on <laughs> they're on one they don't know what to do they're going through towers they're losing money losing connections losing families they started off in this energy 
we're friends, we're family, we stick together. And then it became what, 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 the friendships are over, ain't no love no more. Said, where is the love? Where is the love? Oh, it ain't no love because the whole clan is under judgment. Spirit said, you ain't getting nothing. Nothing. Spirit is keeping some type of union secret. And uh, like they're doing something to protect a union. And while they're protecting this union before you two come together, they are causing havoc in people's lives behind the scenes. You may not even know. Oh, yes, they are. I got the nine of swords coming out. Mm. They are out here causing havoc. This could be your ancestors having them a good time. This is like recess. You know, when recess, when we were in like school, middle, elementary, middle school, high school, and that bell rang, is that, we knew it was recess, right? Baby, we were excited. What did we do? We all rushed out into the courtyard or wherever to have us some fun. Yeah, we rushed out to go have some fun and things like that. Except the kind of fun, uh, your ancestors are having out here, we can liken it to dodgeball, okay? They are out here playing dodgeball with these people's lives. They say, hey, 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 you lose your job today. We'll see you tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep. And these karmics are like, how do I get a good night's sleep with that? They say, we don't know. We don't care. But we'll see you tomorrow. We'll let you know what you'll be losing tomorrow, okay? Hold on tight. Yeah, oh, yeah, go to sleep. We'll see you tomorrow to cause you more war burdens. You're going to be way down. But in the meantime, keep on going back to the drawing board with the rest of the idiots coming up with new plans. But we will see you tomorrow when you wake up. I try. Try. This whole family, whoever they are, they're going to have to thread with caution moving forward. Rethink your options. Mm, baby, your ancestors are out here playing Russian roulette with people's lives and they don't feel no way about it. They don't feel no way about it. This queen of pentacles reverse was out here celebrating some type of temporary uh, victory. And now she's crying behind the scenes. She's, oh yeah, something is over. She's way down behind the scenes because she invested in something she should not have been a part of. Paying people to cause mayhem in someone else's life. And she was sitting behind the scenes with the rest of the morons laughing. Something was a joke. There are still people behind the scenes that may be laughing and things like that. Nope, nope, nope. They won't be laughing for long because this is what's about to be going on. Some of them are already in this energy like that Queen of Cups. Like this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, baby. They are living in fear. There could be like a court case going on for some of these people. Lord, you can, they don't have nobody to blame what but themselves because this is what they invested in. What did they invest in collective? Stealing from you, stealing your resources. For some of you, someone could have left you an inheritance, maybe some land, a house, some property, some money. And these people gather up the troops, stole your inheritance. Someone's been out here pretending to be married to some of you and things like that. No, 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 no. A wealthy man could have left you some type of inheritance, but it's protected in the court system for some of you. Okay. So when the time comes, you will be receiving what's yours. And for others of you, this has to do with a connection. People don't want you and someone coming together, but you will come together. You will have your victory. Be wary of a queen of swords behind the scenes. Okay. Be wary of, excuse me, my, uh, uh, uh my camera hat is telling me like the battery is low. It has 10, per, uh, 20%. So I'm going to have to hurry up. Um, there, what was I saying? There could be a queen of swords behind the scenes. Someone needs to be wary of. She's in some type of anxiety, anxious state. Um, because this, this will be the person that was telling all the lies behind the scenes in regards to someone's work, someone's character, everything. These people were out here celebrating. Celebration. It's all right. They were expecting good news. So they went ahead and took some type of action to block some type of opportunity for you. They said you don't get to grow. They didn't want this masculine coming towards you or this could be the masculine that was juggling you. But now he has foresight of who you are, but you don't want nothing to do with this person. Okay. You don't want nothing to do with this person. They, while they're trying to be practical now, there's an ending for them inside. Lord, we, we don't got time. We don't got time. They don't went from celebrating to nobody knows the troubles I've seen. 
Nobody cares because that's what you invested in. You know what you invested in. You know what you invested in. So how do you expect people to feel sorry for you? We don't feel sorry for you. Okay? We do not. We do not. It's a tower happening in people's lives. And they're still out here trying to be practical about what? They're trying to be logical, not practical. They're still plant plotting against someone. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know how I just said that. But while a group of people or some or a couple of women are going through a tower, they are still out here plotting against a king of cups. Okay? A queen of pentacles is still out here plotting. She's hoping she's going to have some type of success in destroying a king of cups. Uh, he does not, she does not want him communicating with you. Oh, yeah. She wants him to turn his back on someone. I don't know who this is. He sees you as wish fulfillment. He sees you as someone genuine, may want to have a relationship with you. And this, com uh, I was about to say company, this company, this couple, this family, they've been causing interferences and now they're losing their minds, their bunkers and everything because this man is moving on. They said, ah, Jesse Bell, you and your family, you and your low vibrational karmic family. I see what you've been doing. Do this. Okay. I do this. I do this. Do this. He could be someone that's very financially abundant in life. And this is why they're so stuck on keeping him. I don't think you're really interested in this person. You may not know who this person is, but all of these people are going through something. This king of cups, this person is not someone that is like in the upright. Someone does not even listen to their intuition. Someone is, can you imagine that? A whole king of cups that does not listen to their intuition. Like, sir, you have one job. You have one job and you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. It's like, this is one of those men. You can spell things out for them and they still won't listen. They still won't believe it. They'll still be out here being impulsive. Okay. And this is why these people have been able to defeat him for so long. Because he don't listen. So he may be going through some type of healing now. Coming to some type of realization. And looking a little bit deeper into things. When it comes to this couple. This family. Whoever it is. And this is causing them some type of heartbreak. Some type of heart loss. There's a queen of cups going on behind the scenes. Losing her mind. Crying a lot. Maybe this man used to give to her. Uh, things like that. And now he's not giving to her anymore. He sees her as emotionally manipulative. Or something like that. Whatever this is, these people are still collaborating with one another. A sister could have came out of the penitentiary and went right back to collaborating with the whole group. With the whole group. To come up with a new plan on how to stop someone from moving forward with their life. Never mind where he's going. He's just trying to heal. But they don't want him to heal. They say, you're not useful to us. Heal. We can't use you anymore. We can't manipulate you anymore. Yeah. We can't, man excuse me, my back is itching. We can't manipulate you anymore. Oh, baby, they ain't having it. They ain't having it. This group here is overworked. They are burdened. Someone in this group, someone is passing away. We have the death card out here followed by the freaking four of swords in the reverse. Someone is passing away. Someone is passing away in this group. And when someone passes away in this group, that's when these people are going to wake up. I just saw the sun. When someone passes away in this group, this is when these people are going to wake up. These people are exhausted because they've been working overtime to block someone or two people. Whatever this has to do with. I see a lot of cups out here, which means this has to do with two people coming together. They don't want you two coming together. So they've been rallying up the horses, rallying up the troops to come up with ways plans on how they can block you all the plans are not playing in planning in is can i say it that way the plans are not planning in it ain't working there's a malfunction in the matrix you're that malfunction <laughs> and it's pissing them off they're mad mad say so hold up we've invested too much into causing you endings why are you still standing your ground? Why is he still want to work with you? Why is he still coming towards you? We don't tell all the lies you can think of. Greatness is what we want to bring up. And he said, wah, wah, wah. No, 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 no. Poverty is what you brought up. Stagnation, still miss endings is what you brought up. Complicating your lives, your new beginnings, complicating them. 
Some of you about to be out here begging. Oh, oh, that's what you don't know. This whole group here, they don't have foresight. It will explain part of the, that would be part, that would be part of the reason why the high priestess is out here in the reverse. These people don't have spiritual gifts. They like intuition. They like common sense because you should never be disinvested in blocking someone from wanting to live their best life. That's when you know friends are not friends. That's when you know family ain't family. Blood can blood sometimes is not th thicker than water. Okay, soul connections are thicker than water and blood. Okay, oh, okay, oh, baby, the whole group, the whole family community is going through it, and it ain't getting no better anytime soon. <laughs> Cause you about to be out here living your life, living your dreams. Yeah, and feeling yourself. I heard, wait till I get my money right. Nah, la, la, la. Then you can't tell me nothing, right? Oh, hey, good money, man. Oh, yeah, you about to be out here. Out here. Oh, the universe is about to spoil someone. It said, uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Uh-uh, you can't tell me nothing. Whoa. Good money, man. Wait till I get my money right. Oh, let me stop singing Kanye West song. Kanye West, please do not strike my channel, sir. I ain't got no money. I can barely rub two nickels together as you see me here. Okay? I just love doing this. It's why I do it. I've had people blocking it, trying to stop it from making any money, but I still show up on here to do it because I love it. So please, <laughs> hold back, Kanye West. Hold back. Please hold back. I know. Please hold back. I beg. Let me go through. Let me walk through just a little bit. Okay? Because when I walk through, whoop, hey, I got something you can see that's very entertaining and very enlightening. Okay? Please. I can help you too. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Clarity on this tower, but we already know what it is. But we're going to do this for entertainment purposes because why not? <laughs> His sisters are funny. <laughs> His sisters are funny. <laughs> His sisters say, <laughs> "Listen." <laughs> now we know we're causing havoc in your life, but you're gonna have to find the strength to keep moving forward. <laughs> Just like our kid had to. <laughs> Dang! They said, hey, we know we're causing havoc in your lives, but you're going to have to find the strength to move forward just like our kid had to. Okay, what did you think this was? We're here to settle the scores. <laughs> oh. It <laughs> said, you got to be strong now. You got to be, you got to be, you got to be wiser. Yeah, you got to be wiser now. Dang. <laughs> I love the humor, but from the ancestors, I said clarity on this tower. We don't really need it, but we, cause we already know. And then they come out with the strength. It said, Hey, when you're losing everything, just like you took everything from our kid, we need you to stay calm. You saw ours, right? How they handle it, how she handled it, how he handled it. Yeah. You didn't see them out here screaming or nothing. Oh, they were, they were real modest about it. They stayed calm. They actually went through the healing process while you were causing havoc in their lives. So now it's your turn. Tag, you're in. Oh, all of these people's plans are failing. All of their yeah. Listen, I, I I didn't even I didn't see that until now. I didn't see that until now. The death car. It has to do with you know when when people make plans, projects, failing and things like that. Failure 
in some type of plan, right? And then we have the, the four of swords in the reverse. That means that it's failure. Someone's not able to move forward with something, okay? What does this card say? Yeah, disease ridden, stuck, exhaustion, no time off, inadequate recovery, restlessness, difficulty to relax, right? Yeah, so it ain't going nowhere. And then someone is going to be passing away. I keep picking up on that with that death here and the uh, uh, four of swords reverse. Someone has something that they're passing away from. You may receive some type of message. Someone may come to you with clarity and tell you that someone is passing away or someone is really sick. Uh, so just suspect that this could be like a masculine coming towards you to tell you that someone is sick or a feminine energy. I did have a dream a while back that a feminine energy came towards someone to tell them a message from a masculine or about a masculine. Um, so, you know, just, just, just keep your eye out on their spirit. wants you to know that you are on the right track, uh, on your dreams, your path, you're fulfilling your purpose. You will, oh, you're headed fast towards progress. Like a horse, baby. Say, so move forward with swift precision and do what must be done now. Charge ahead. Okay? Look at you. Mm. Someone is no longer confused about, well, this is what I'm getting as well, because there's something where people have been out here trying to confuse a community or like a group behind the scenes, a masculine behind the scenes about the work that you do. Right? He's no longer confused. They may have said that you were confused and you come with nothing but death and endings and things like that. That's not true. Someone knows now the truth. You're not confused. He's not confused. You know what you're doing. You're very skilled. And there's a woman behind the scenes that's losing it behind, behind that. The fact that the truth is out. He said, no, 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 no. I told you she's mentally retarded. <laughs> she's on scale. You need to reject her. She's saying all of that because once she wants to be you and cannot be you, never will be you. That equation does not exist in the spirit, in the cosmos. You are you for you for a reason. Uh, and lastly, she does not have any spiritual gifts. Someone has been pretending to have gifts that she does not have. Someone is being left out in the cold, like cold, cold. Left out in the cold, cold. And listen, there are two tarot readers. Honey, I love you all, but stop stop doing readings on me for that crazy girl that keeps coming to you all to get readings on me. Every time you all look into me, I see you. <laughs> I see you, okay? Stop doing that. Please, leave me alone. Stay out of my energy. You're violating my spiritual rights, my spiritual privacy. Stop it. That girl keep coming to you all to get readings on me and she's not getting any better because this is someone that refuses to heal. It's not that you are undoing your job. You're doing your job. She's a hopeless cause. Someone just, someone needs to tell this child to just move on. I don't know what the heck she thinks is going to happen. She keeps coming to you all to pay you. And she already knows the truth. This girl knows, has foresight about what's going to happen because the first first uh, uh, practitioner that she went to, and you've done a couple of readings for her. You're a queen of wands, queen of cups energy. I do watch you from time to time. You don't already told this girl what she can expect. She knows exactly what's about to happen with a wealthy man. Like where he's going. It's no secret. You already told her. Because you know what you're doing. You are gifted and talented. You already told this girl what... Why do you keep letting this girl waste your time? But honey, sis, I'm telling you, can y'all leave me out of it, please? <laughs> when she comes to you to do a read, tell her, I'm only reading about you. I'm not looking into their sister. You may have told her that already. And I think now she's going to a queen of swords, queen of cups energy. She's probably going to end up telling her the same thing because every time she's doing a read for her on me, I can hear what they're saying too. But it's going to get to a point where she will find out, uh, yeah, I don't want to be part of this. Listen, can we all like support each other out here as practitioners to not do readings on each other? 
<laughs> don't. <laughs> that girl is out here paying money, good, good money to people. <laughs> is he coming to her now? Where is he going? Is he with someone else? <laughs> Uh, I ain't no good. I ain't no good at all. <laughs> um, and then the stuff, the stuff you're telling her, you're telling her good news, right? And she, she, her sister don't want to hear it. She's like, no. In her, in her head, when you're done giving her those reads, she's like, no. Do it over. Do it over. I, I know the best is she's going to change. <laughs> I cannot. Can you imagine going to a practitioner and they do a read for you? And you're pissed off because they give you good news. They say, "Oh yeah, <laughs> it's our sunshine butterflies for him. Whether he gets with this woman or someone else, he ain't coming back. He don't care if he's uncertain of where he's going. He ain't coming back to you. He's going all real." Uh, my sister said I said what I said girl I can't help you no more <laughs> oh. she said I can't help you no more <laughs> oh Lord have mercy <laughs> she said well if she can't help me if she can't help me I'm just gonna go find someone else this woman has been stalking me, you all. Please just leave me out of this stuff. Please. How you be out here? How do you think she knew to come to you all? That's because she knows I watch you all. Like, she and whoever this is she's concerned about. Like, be in my phone. Computer, just all kinds of stuff. Like, just crazy. Trying to have my platform shut, shut down. All kinds of stuff. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? Anyways, uh, collective, you may be receiving some type of real promise, but I will always rely on source for these promises because, you know, mankind, they can make a promise today and change their mind tomorrow. But what is said is real promise. Relieve the, release the chains of the past and dance to the rhythm of possibility. Free to move. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, fully immersed. Oh, okay. Everything you want is all around you, just waiting for you to see it. Stay in the flow. I'm going to take that one too because some, sometimes I be tripping out here. Like I get distracted. <sighs> but I'm working on it, folks. I'm working on it. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching the, Div the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I will see you in my next reading. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.